It's the president and vice president busy meeting with world leaders, as Ed just showed you. But so is the California governor. We spent the day with him. California Governor Gavin Newsom greets Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau at the California Science Center. They're on hand as Canada and California sign a joint memorandum of understanding to collaborate on fighting climate change. The planet is running a fever. The hots are getting a lot hotter, dries are getting drier. How do you as Canada see California and the value of doing something? California's consistent leadership matters not just for uh, the weight of the Californian economy and population, but it's an example of how to do things, how to look at climate change. Newsom says there's a long history of California's leaders from both parties caring about the climate. Regardless of what's happening in Washington, D.C., we are a reliable partner. <laughs> this meeting is a bit of a public love fest between Newsom and Trudeau. Aesthetically, you look like you could be brothers or at least cousins. Uh, but substantively, I'm also... the younger brother, right? Yeah, he's the, uh, he, he reminded me he's the younger brother, which is uh, was a diplomatic faux pas. On a more serious note, I ask about what they've learned from each other policy wise. The prime minister had the courage of his convictions and moved efficiently and effectively on the issue of gun safety. And you contrast that to the lack of leadership, the cowards that continue to dominate the national debate. We welcome the leaders of the Americas. This summer, giving Newsom and California a spotlight on the world stage. Governor, sir, how are you? We speak about it exclusively for our political show, The Issue Is. And we play an essential role as it relates to the Americas, particularly as it relates to that diversity here in Southern California, which is well established. When President Biden arrived for the summit, Newsom brought his four kids out on the tarmac. And he took all the extra time in the world, said all the right things, and the kids are on cloud nine. And, and it's not just my kids. You see that with him. You've seen that over his entire career. But, yeah, look, that was a thrill. Uh, got him out of going to Disneyland. Uh, I figured maybe Air Force One would be, you know, and that was hard to do. I know. Splash Mountain's pretty great, though. All right. So legit. So I still have to make up for that. Much more from Governor Newsom on our political show. The issue is we had a really long interview with him. I also talked with Vice President Kamala Harris and her husband, the second gentleman, Doug Emhoff. Somehow we'll fit this all into a half hour tomorrow night at 1030 right here on Fox 11.